Hey, hey, Mzansi. Mzansi, it looks like if you want to be a public figure or a celebrity, as some would call it, you need to make sure that you watch what you say because it will come back to bite you. Podcaster and DJ McG comes under fire after a video of him making some homophobic and transphobic jokes went viral on social media. Now, on a recent episode from his podcast in Chill, this DJ and his guests joked about transgenders and their body parts. Yikes. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News and Sansi. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know you love the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. Some Zanzi, some South Africans found it offensive, especially to the LGBTQ community. The issue has gotten controversial on Zanzi Twitter, as some defended the DJ against the trolls and critics. Now, Zanzi, watch the video I'm talking about coming up next, and I'll come back with my commentary. You know what I mean? There's men who do that. Yes, but you should you just want the parts. If you want the parts. I can't keep up. Crazy, right? I can't yeah. keep up, bro. Because yeah. what do you call that then? Is she not? <laughs> yeah, you can't pay. But you can't there's no labeling. Eesh. There's the no. LGBTQ. That's why it's. Yes, yeah. there's a lot of. There's a lot more. Yeah, like letters you know, in the LGBTQ. Yeah. Interesting fact: one of the former members of uh, uh, G Unit, yeah, Young Buck, yeah, Young Buck, yeah, I used to see a trans yes. person. Yes, yes, I what? saw that. Yeah, so. Uh, 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 I think it's she male, but I think that's a bad term. Mm. We don't use that term. Yeah. Mm. But a trans person, yeah. So a woman with a dick. So it was a. It's, it's a <laughs> no, but it could be a trans. It's a trans female. Generally. It's a trans female. Yeah, but he saw a woman with a dick. <laughs> Young buck. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah, dog. Yes. And she came out and, you know what I mean, 50 cents, I remember he, yeah, he's he, been... he was dragging him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 50 always does that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, has, it, has, it, has an offset also been with a... Uh, uh, yeah. Offset? Yeah, offset. Yeah, offset. Mm. offset. Yeah. Mm. Now, know? during Cardi B. Now, now, now. Is it? Yeah. Offset. Yeah. Ish, there's ah. so much allegations with these allegations. Wayne Rooney as well. Uh, Wayne, Wayne Rooney! Yes! That time he bought. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's where he get his ball control from. <laughs> 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 He's laying on a man's chest, Manchester, <laughs> <laughs> and he's a Manchester. So Mzansi, after that explosive episode, it went down on the Twitter streets. At Nageri Du Bois said, some South Africans are trying too hard to be American. He don't agree with me, so he must be cancelled. It's kind of hypocritical how y'all are campaigning for rights, but somehow still find a way to be mad at Meg G for expressing his basic human rights of freedom of speech. While another said, I get that McG has offended the LGBTQ community. I apologize on his behalf for that. I also didn't find that fun video offensive, but that just means I'm not informed enough about homophobia, transphobia, and I'll do better. But this bitterness is not healthy. This is witchcraft. He was referring to a tweet by a bitter, bitter Twitter tweeper who is very, very revengeful and somehow wants to hurt McG. For what reason? I don't know. But she said, I think you should report McG, especially because he's part of YouTube Black Partner Program because that's where it'll hurt the most. Really? Now, Mzansi, do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. i really love to hear from you. But for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot just the way you like it.